Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you different ways to enable or enforce multi-factor authentication for our Office 365 tenant from the Azure portal. Azure multi-factor authentication could be enforced in multiple ways. The one is conditional access, second is security defaults, third is by instituting per user MFA and the last one I will show you through Azure Identity. Please note that you must be global administrator to perform all these steps. So let's move forward and see how we can secure our all environment by enabling multi-factor authentication. As you know that multi-factor authentication is the most important part of security. So let's move forward and set up conditional access to deploy multi-factor authentication for our users so please note that to set up microsoft conditional access in the azure you need azure ad premium license p2 so i can go microsoft enter conditional access from here right if you want you can type conditional access here and you can also go from here from the azure portal please note that previously uh, azure ad the name is converted to microsoft intra id so that's why we are seeing here microsoft intra id so another way to go to conditional access is let's go to microsoft intra id once you are in microsoft intra id uh, you can go to manage and then you can to go to a security after going to security in the manage section sorry in the pro protect section you will be able to find conditional access okay we have seen multiple ways to get to a conditional access uh, in microsoft azure so let's move forward and create a conditional access policy to protect our tenant and deploy multifactor okay so i am in the new policy section let's name our new policy enable multi-factor authentication for everyone or we can say enable mfa just right because here uh, we have the option to include and exclude the users and the group right so when i go to group users and group just make sure you have excluded your admins and the required user from this policy if that is needed but i will recommend you to enable this for everyone okay let me add this user here i want to enable uh multi-factor authentication for this user in the target resources you can select a single cloud app or all cloud app so I want to select here uh, Microsoft Exchange. I want to secure Microsoft Exchange for everyone. If someone mm, log into Microsoft Exchange, they will get a multi factor authentication. They will have to authenticate with a um, multi factor authentication first. So let's do it ex for Exchange. You can do it for your whole Office 365, right? Okay. Here you go. I found the Exchange. I selected the exchange okay now uh, in the access grant control right we only want user to get to their emails or outlook right once they authenticate with multi-factor authentication so i've selected grant access required multi-factor authentication and i have turned on this policy so now any users or group those are selected here they need to first authenticate with multi-factor authentication to get to their exchange or their outlook so now let's go to the second option that is security default right security default is a pre-configured service for your whole organization right that will trigger authentication the security defaults are available to everyone and you can find it here in your uh, Azure portal that is now called Microsoft Intra ID portal. Using security default means your user can 
all of your users can register for multi-factor authentication and they have the time limit of 14 days to register them with multi-factor authentication. After the 14 days time period over, users will not be able to log in until they have registered them with multi-factor authentication. And that 14 days time period will begin once the user will log in to their email. So after that they will get prompt every day when they log in to register with multi-factor authentication. You must be global administrator or a security administrator to enable or disable security default. Uh, please note that you don't need any additional license to set up these security defaults. So if you can see my screen, I am in Microsoft Intra ID, uh, Microsoft Azure. Let's open it and we have to scroll down to the properties. So in the property section, we can manage security default from here, right? We can enable or disable security defaults from here. So please note that if you have set up a conditional access policy for your all tenant, you might not be able to find security default option here, right? you will then see that your organization is currently using conditional access policy which prevents you from enabling security default conditional access to configure custom policy enable the same behavior provided by the security default so for this tenant conditional access is set up that's why we don't have option to enable security default here right but if we go to this tenant, we have option to manage security default to enable and disable from here. Okay, the next method of enabling MFA authentication per user uh, is we have to go to uh, Azure portal and then we have to go to Microsoft Intra ID. After going to Microsoft Intra ID, we can go to users and once we go to users, we will find that option here per user mfa so now in per user mfa you can see mfa is disabled for some of the user it's enforced for some of the user and it's enabled for some of the user so we can enable this from here one by one for the user we want and we can disable it for the user we don't want so the recommended method is that enable MFA for everyone all of the time to protect your organization. So if you enable MFA from any specific user, for any specific user from here, that user will be asked to register their MFA when they access any cloud service. So if you go to service setting option here, you will be able to find this option that you can bypass MFA for specific IPs right and also you can also set up the method of call to phone text message to phone notification through mobile app registration code from mobile app or hardware token any of these MFA method you can select so that user will be able to register those okay the last method of registering MFA for the user I will show you that is through MFA identity protection. Identity protection tool allow organization to accomplish three tasks. Automate the detection and remediation of identity risk, investigate risk using data in the portal and export detection data to third party utilities for further analysis. So for identity protection, you will need Azure AD P2 license. Administrator can set up an identity MFA that will trigger when there is any risky sign-in. This can be done by configuring MFA sign-in risk policy. In this scenario, if identity protection found any risky sign-in attempts, it will trigger user to register or to authenticate with MFA multi-factor authentication. 
let's take a look how we can enable this policy browse to azure active directory blade right by going to portal.office.com and then go to microsoft intra id once we are in microsoft intra id then go to manage and choose security in security go to identity protection go to protect and click on sign in risk policy okay once we are in sign in risk policy you can select all user we can select individual user and you can select a single user right and we can select a group of user so i will select a single user as this is just to explain you and we can select the sign in risk type so i will choose it to medium on above and in the control action i can select uh, i will select a uh, block access or i can allow access to it require multi-factor authentication and i can enable it from here and hit save now at least at this point you don't need to worry about your organization mfa authentication as we have seen different methods to secure our organization so you can also check the sign in logs right of the user if there is any fishy sign in or uh, what's the problem if there is any problem with multi-factor authentication right so here in the monitoring i can see the sign in logs that's it about today's lecture thank you for your time keep watching keep sharing and don't press to don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest updates bye